with and she's brave. She can be cheeky. Oh, she this is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to bite. And eats too much. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey in the dash. If you're in trouble, oh, in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. Big Barn Farm, and something is up. Hmm, something's up. Hmm, something is definitely up. Why don't you ask someone what's up? Hmm, let's ask someone what's up. Great minds think alike. If anyone knows, it'll be Lester. Hey, Lester, what's up? Why is everyone so excited? Haven't you heard? We've got some very important visitors coming. I imagine they're coming to look at me. I am very nice to look at. Lester does think a lot of himself. Mind you, if I had feathers like that, I'd probably be a bit of a show-off too. Important visitors? I wonder who they are? They could be the king and queen. Or famous pop stars. Yeah, or, um, an emperor of, um, of, uh, um, of, um... Of the whole world. So we should make ourselves look smart like everyone else. Come on. That sounds like a good idea. But how are you going to do that? What's Petal doing to make herself look nice for the important visitors? I'm having a mud bath. She's having a mud bath. Of course she is. She's a piglet. Piglet power! <laughs> that looks like fun. What are the others up to? Well, Dash looks hard at work. Looks like he's giving his stable a nice new coat of paint to impress the visitors. Oh, dear. What a mess. And Dash, you're covered in paint too. Mm. Is Digger getting on any better over by the pond? I've had a bath in the pond and now I'm clean and ready for the important visitors. Well, at least Gobo hasn't made a mess of himself. What's he up to? I decided to brush my coat to impress the important visitors. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. Gobo is being the sensible one. Except I don't have a brush. Ah, here it comes. So I thought I'd use the bush instead. Good thinking, Gobo. I'll know what to do next time I lose my brush. Finished. You look good, Gobo. It's sure to impress the important visitors. Well, I think that means everyone is ready. Petals had her mud bath. Dash has done his painting. Hmm. Digger has had a wash in the pond. And Gobo has brushed his coat using the bush. Everyone's ready for the important visitors. I hope they're the king and queen. I'd like to see their crowns. But if they're pop stars, they might sing for us. Yeah! I wonder how you're supposed to behave in front of important visitors. I don't know. None of us do. The farmyard bunch wonder who would know how to behave in front of the important visitors. Mrs Snuffles? Old Pop? The Mrs Chickens? Oh, we should ask Madame. She'll know. I'd forgotten about Madame. Good idea. I like Madame. Great idea. Go, 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 go. But you might want to go and clean yourselves up a bit first. It's 
If anyone will know how to behave in front of important visitors, it's Madame. Moolala, la. you have come to the right call. There are four things you need to have for important visitors. You must have music, food, flowers, and a red carpet. Hmm. We knew Madame would know. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. Come on, farmyard bunch. We've got work to do. Let's go! Dash finds some flowers. All he's got to do now is carefully pick the nicest ones and arrange them in a bouquet. Or he could just kick them all over the place. Careful, Dash. Gobo, would you take these to the farmyard ready for the important visitors? Now, Grublem. Don't eat them. Mustn't eat them. Oops, I've eaten all the flowers. Oh dear, never mind. Go back to Dash and get some more. And I'll try not to eat them this time. Back for more flowers, Gobo. I'm really sorry, Dash. I tried really hard to carry them safely to the farmyard for the important visitors, but I accidentally ate them on the way. I'm really, 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 really sorry. Calm down, calm down. I'll just have to dig up some more. There you go, Gobo. And don't eat them this time. I'll try very hard not to eat the flowers this time. That's it, Gobo. Try not to munch them. Well done, Gobo. You didn't eat them. But I wanted to. Gobo can't help it. Goats are always hungry. I'm always hungry. I'd better collect some food, just in case the important visitors are always hungry too. If the important visitors are goats, they might be. I'll make sure it's the nicest food on the farm. Good thinking, Gobo. I wonder how Petal's getting on with the music for the important visitors. There are lots of things in the workshop you could make music with. How about using that stick to bang on a saucepan? Ah, that sounds good, Petal. The important visitors will enjoy a bit of drumming. Ah, Gobo's found some food. Thistles. Yum, 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 yum. Grass. How's Digger getting on? I don't know what to use as a red carpet for the important visitors. Oh, dear. I found lots of things that are red. Oh, but I don't know if they would make a good red carpet. Digger may need a little help Whoa. with this one. <laughs> yeah, you can find something red, Digger. is red, but it doesn't look anything like a red carpet. No, it certainly doesn't look like a carpet. <laughs> this bucket is red, but it doesn't look like a carpet. No, but it's great for sandcastles. <laughs> a red hanky. Hmm, would that make a good red carpet? That's a lot closer, Digger. But it's way too small to be a carpet. <laughs> Maybe Mac the horse has something he could use. Oh, how about this? Mm. Would Mac's old red blanket make a good red carpet? That's perfect. Well done, Digger. Thanks. Don't mention it. Yum, 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 yum. Go, Bo. You're meant to be looking for tasty food for the important visitors. Perfect. Thistles grass and corn. That looks like the important visitors arriving. 
I wonder who they'll be. The king and queen? Pop stars? The emperor of the world? Are we ready for them? Red carpet? Food? Flowers? And music? Yep, all ready. The gate is opening. Time for the music, Petal. And who are the important visitors? Wellies, school bags, lunch boxes. Of course, it's a party of school children come to visit Big Barn Farm for the day. Now, they are important visitors. It looks like Digger's made friends straight away. Mmm, lunch boxes. Gobo, I don't think those lunch boxes are meant for you. Enjoying the oats, Dash. <laughs> That's better, Gobo. You've found some goat food. The Mrs. Chickens are loving being made a fuss of. Yum, yum, yum. And Petal looks like a very happy little piglet. I love you. Well, I think our very important visitors are having a great time with some very important farmyard animals. Oh, 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 oh tickling! Oh, oh, oh. That's all for now. See you again soon down on Big Barn Farm. This is Petal, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky, but she never This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to play. And eat all day. There's a dinky little donkey name of Dash. If you're in trouble, in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. Dead right, not quite. The ducks are splashing in and out the pond. Gossip, gossip, all day long. Madame is French and lovely. And we all know who goes cock a doo Mrs. Snuffles and her piglets come to play. And on pot, make sure that everyone is safe. Who's the tallest of them all? It's the horse. And last, not least, their friends. The sheep. Now you've seen them all together. And they love to be together. They'll be friends forever down on the farm. <laughs> <laughs>